I'm Dr. Josh Matthews. This is my series, What Makes This Movie Great? This is episode eight, and the movie is Big Night. She likes starch. I don't know. Come on. <sighs> Bitch. I'm making myself. Ah. Why are these people in America? I need to talk to her. Oh, please, Primo, what are you going to do? Tell the customer what she can eat, huh? That is what she wants. That is what the customer asks for. Make it. Make the pasta. Make it. Make it. Make the pasta. Come on, let's go! Big Night is a 1996 movie directed by Campbell Scott and Stanley Tucci, and it features two brothers from Italy who have moved to the east coast of the United States in the 1950s. They've opened up an Italian restaurant, and one of the brothers is a master chef. But the restaurant is a failure, and during the early parts of the movie, the bank warns them that they're going to go bankrupt. The brothers are named Primo, the master chef, and Secundo, the host and the helper. These brothers are tight, they love each other, but yet they have some pretty big differences. Now because they're under threat of bankruptcy, one of the brothers, played by Stanley Tucci, Secundo, goes over to the Italian restaurant across the street, run by one of their competitors. That competitor is Pascal, played by Ian Holm. Hey! It is never too much! It's only not enough! Bite your teeth into the ass of life and drag it to you! Hey! And his restaurant is doing amazingly well. The movie uses static cameras to show you the interior of the brother's restaurant, but for Pascal's restaurant, you get a handheld, swirling, moving, slow motion sometimes camera that has a very different feel, obviously, from what you see in the brother's restaurant. Pascal's restaurant is alive and happening on Friday night. And when one of the brothers goes over to the restaurant to ask for help, Pascal says, okay, I'll help you by getting a famous jazz musician and his crew to come to your restaurant. You serve them food, you'll get some media attention, and then your restaurant will start doing well. So then most of the movie is the two brothers, Primo and Secundo, spending time preparing for their big night, serving the famous jazz musician and his friends. And then, of course, the big night when it actually happens serving the guests. Now, I'm going to stop there and not give anything away, but I do want to tell you some things about why I really like this movie. It's a really thoughtful character study of the two brothers. They are Italians, but they're also struggling to become American. One of the brothers, Primo, hangs on to his Italian roots, while Secundo is tempted to become more and more American. That shows in one of the choices early in the movie when Primo decides to go on Friday night to one of his Italian friends, the barber, while Secundo goes over to Pascal's restaurant and sees this sort of American Italian place. Pascal's restaurant has Americanized Italian food, and Primo is disgusted by the food that Pascal serves. He thinks it's garbage. Do you know what goes on in that man's restaurant every night? Rape! Rape! That is what goes on in that place every night. The rape of twisting. But Secundo is tempted by American things. One of them is his girlfriend, played by Minnie Driver. She's an admirable woman, no doubt, but she is, after all, American. And then there's a scene where Secundo goes to a car dealer's and is very tempted by the new, bright, shiny American automobile that he test drives. One question in this movie is, is are these brothers going to survive in America? Or do they need to go back to Italy? Or can they forge a middle ground somewhere between the two countries? Another divide in this movie is art versus commerce. Primo believes that he'll just serve his great food and that people will come appreciating his food. Secundo has a different mindset. First of all, he's more business-like and calculating, both in good ways as far as understanding the business of his restaurant and trying to manipulate people to come to the restaurant. He'd like the restaurant, I think, to be flashier and fancier than it already is. More like Pascal's restaurant, which is wildly successful. Question is, is the restaurant business about entertainment? Is it about teaching people what great food is? Or is it just a place to have fun and an entertainment on the weekend. What exactly is a restaurant? That's in part what this movie is asking, and the question of should a restaurant be reduced to mere entertainment comes up in this movie. Why don't consumers like great food? Primo has this very question. Why do they enjoy Pascal's experience at his restaurant, the fun and the flashiness, 
even when the food is not so good. Secundo is a great character. Stanley Tucci does a wonderful acting job here as well as a directing job. And he really nails this part of a character who doesn't know who he is, is going between two different worlds, the world of art and commerce, and the worlds of Italy and America. He's out in the main restaurant serving people entertaining them and he wants to venture over to Pascal's he's the character who's willing to go out and he's open to new experiences but maybe that makes him less and less Italian and maybe that bothers him and strains his relationship with his brother. There's some wonderful scenes at the end of this movie that sort of deal with these very conflicts and I think the movie isn't going to give you easy answers as to whether art or commerce is better whether being Italian in America or becoming more American is better. This is an adult movie in the sense that it's complex and rich and interesting. And that's just like Primo's great food. And this movie has one of the greater last shots you'll ever see. Examine it, it's a four minute long take that doesn't really resolve any of the problems in the movie, but does give you something richer and more profound as far as the brothers and their relationship goes. I strongly recommend this movie to any adult, I think anybody I know or have ever known would actually like this movie. So please go watch Big Night, write to me, write in the comments, I'd love to hear your views. Thanks for watching this video and my channel, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that button and the bell notification. Thank you and have a great day.